Hey there everyone, I'm Rudhima from Sorosis Classes. Let us have a look at few conceptual questions from Gate Economics 2023 question paper. So in front of you is question number 45. Here, we are given a total cost function Tc is equals to A plus BQ. A is our fixed cost and BQ is the variable cost. So we are given the following app options and we have to select the correct option. So let us first write down uh, our uh, function that is given that is um, tc is equals to a plus bq now let us uh, check the options first one is in the short run firm's average cost curve will shift upwards okay when when are we checking this actually what will happen when fixed cost increases so the condition is our fixed cost that is a increases if this happens which of the following options are correct right so first let us calculate ABC here. ABC is equals to we know TVC by Q. Now here this is FC and this is our VC. So that is BQ by Q is equals to B. So that means this is constant and independent of A. Correct? So whatever B is A, if A rises, ABC unchanged. That means option A is absolutely wrong. In the short run firms, average total cost curve will shift upwards. Now let us check. So um, this is our ABC. And what about uh, AFC? AFC is, this is FC. So this is A by Q. So therefore, average cost, total average cost is A by Q plus B. That is our average fixed cost plus average variable cost. So uh, from this relation, from this shaded relation, uh, we can see that if A increases, then A by Q will definitely increase and B will remain same. So, AC will definitely increase and shift up. So, yes, option B is correct. Let me shade the correct one, right? This is correct. Next, the firm will earn higher profit. Of course not. As we can see that the average cost is increasing. If the average cost is increasing per unit of production, then profit cannot increase. Absolutely wrong. Last is in the short run, the firm's marginal cost curve will shift upwards. Let us check what is our marginal cost here. So, uh, MC is equals to DTC by DQ. So, that is here is B, which is constant. So, whatever be the A, A increases or decreases, it will not have any effect on MC. So, definitely MC will be same and there is no need for the shift upward. So, that means the correct option is option B. Okay, let us scroll down and go to the next question. The next question is about elasticity, okay? So, this is also conceptual. We have to be very um, clear with our concepts of elasticity and we can check the options to find out the answer. Let us read the question. Suppose the own price elasticity of demand and income elasticity of demand are given by EP and EI respectively. The subscript P represents own price elasticity of demand and I represents the income of the consumer. Now, identify the correct statement. So the first statement here is if EP is greater than 1 less than infinity that means here we are talking about EP tends to infinity that means perfectly elastic and here it is per price inelastic of course this is not the correct option. Luxury goods are more price inelastic and necessities are price elastic okay. Now uh, so basically here we are talking about the price elasticity of the types of goods, right? Now, uh, in terms of a price elasticity, so this is actually the luxury goods are more price inelastic. So, what is the meaning of price inelastic? So, we know. So, whenever del this is our uh, change, so this is the formula for our elasticity. Now, the elasticity depends on basically this change, right? So, that means if P and Q are constant, of course, if I am saying that it is inelastic, that means I am taking this is less than 1, that means delta Q less than delta P. What is the meaning? Whatever be the change in price, quantity demanded will be less than that, then it is inelastic. Okay? Now, if in case of luxury goods, so luxury goods are not something which we need from day to day life, right? So, that means it is not something we need for in urgent. So, definitely types of luxury goods, if their price um, increases even slightly, people will quickly drop their uh, desire, want or wish. 
to buy the that particular luxury good they will think that okay maybe later on for example let us take gold right so in order to buy gold we try to uh, go through the market value of the gold right so whenever the price drops people tend to buy more whenever the price even increases slightly the decision to buy gets delayed right so even for a smallest change in price the impact on demand is larger that is elastic right whereas necessity goods uh, for the slightest change in demand the uh, price the demand varies much more than that uh, so that means what luxury goods are price elastic why is it is price elastic because for a slightest change in price the impact on demand is larger but for necessary goods uh, for even a greater uh, change in price the demand won't be affected much right because that is necessary whatever be the price if a consumer have to consume it if they have to buy it they will for example medicines right even if there is increase in price if the buyer is having or is going through certain disease then that buyer will have to buy it correct so the demand will not be affected much so if i am talking about necessary goods price change do not have much effect on the demand so that means in case of uh, necessary goods price is inelastic but in case of luxury goods even the slightest change in price will have drastic change in the demand so the price is elastic that means here the statement is just reversed they are saying luxury good is price inelastic than the necessary goods so of course not because it should be the other way around in case of luxury goods the prices are elastic because for slightest change in price drastic change in demand whereas in necessary goods the prices are comparatively inelastic because for even a uh, higher change in price the demand for medicines will not be much affected so that is why b is not the right option let us talk about luxury good now this is in terms of income then of course if the income of a consumer increases people will tend to buy uh, luxury goods that means the uh, your elasticity is income elasticity is greater than 1 this is correct and if ep lies between 0 and 1 demand is price elastic of course not we know what are the distinctions let me just write down for you there are five categories of price elasticity that is number 1 is ep tends to infinity that is perfect elastic ep tends to zero that is perfect inelastic ep is equals to 1 unit elastic okay in this case what happens the total revenue always remains same or the total expenditure always remains same right um the fourth one is when it is greater than 0 ep is greater than 0 but less than 1 so see greater than 0 means from perfectly inelastic there is certain change but it is less than 1 that is if it is less than 1 that means delta p is del greater than delta q that means change in price do not have much effect on the quantity as i have explained here so this is the case of relative inelastic and that is why this option d is not right right and the fifth one is if it is greater than 1 greater than 1 means delta p whatever be the change in delta p the effect on demand will be much greater so this is relatively elastic right so these are the five conditions so according to these five conditions option a is wrong option b is wrong and option c is wrong okay uh, option c is uh, regarding income elasticity and of course for luxury goods income elasticity is greater than 1 so option c is the correct answer